Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which are all the five stars I've read so far this year in 2023. So, I have had a pretty good reading year. I've been reading quite a few books, and I've been enjoying a lot of the books I've been reading. And so I, I was curious how many five stars I had read. And I went back and there was actually quite a few five star books that I've read. So I thought, you know, we're a quarter of the way through the year. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. So I thought I'd go back and see all the five star books that I've read in the first quarter of 2023. So starting in January, I had four five star reads in January, which was pretty amazing. So the first one is the only one I don't own and it is one I do want to get soon-ish and that is Saint by Adrian Young. This is like a prequel to the uh, Fable and Namesake duology. So it follows the same world, it follows the father figure, Saint of the main character, Fable, in that duology. And I had a lot of expectations going into this just because of how much I loved the duology. The duology was five stars for me last year and Saint had just come out in November. And I, I mean, I wasn't super attached to the character in the original duology, but the idea, the idea that he would have his own book got me very intrigued and quite excited. And it definitely, lives up to it. You got the backstory and it was just the same amazing writing and had really all the same elements that I loved in the initial duology, but following a different character and with, you know, different personalities and everything like that. So I had so much fun reading it. It was a great summer read in January. Then I also read Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. This was an easy five stars, cozy fantasy. Everyone's been talking about it on booktube. It is the perfect like autumn, winter, cozy up, snuggle read. I like to describe it as a Dungeons and Dragons love letter to coffee because that's really what it is. It's this half orc decides to retire from adventuring and open up a cafe, like with espresso and everything like that. I loved it, everything about it was perfect, so how could I not give it five out of five stars? This next one tore my heart out. I gave it five out of five stars because then I couldn't imagine it being anything else. It was either five out of five or no rating. And that was The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. So going into this, I was pretty intimidated because it's a very thick, World War II historical fiction. There are a lot of World War II historical fictions out there, and this one is a bit of a chunk. So I was kind of like on edge about it, and I was like half intrigued by the premise. I had it on my wish list, it was gifted to me, and then my mom told me that she read it and she loved it. So I was like, okay, I have to pick it up, I have to give it a try. And this made me cry, and it really hit me hard in the feels. Yeah, like just one character in this book and everything that she goes through and what she does with it just blew me away, kept me entertained. It did not feel very long. I was constantly wanting to keep listening to it, keep reading it, keep going. I didn't want to put it down. And you know, when a thick book is like that for me, it's amazing. So I was so happy I read this in January. Now the final book that I read in January, I also don't technically own, it's the second book in a trilogy, but I own the first and third book, weirdly enough. But that is Kingdom of the Cursed by Carrie Maniscalco. So it's the second book from the Kingdom of the Wicked. I read this first one last year and loved it, five out of five stars. So then I continued the trilogy with Kingdom of the Cursed. Also loved it, five out of five stars. I'm perfectly happy with the turn it took from like YA to adult. I didn't mind that turn at all because I thought the adult elements were done super well. So I didn't care and it made me very happy. The third book was only like 4.5 out of five stars. So it was very close, but not quite there yet. But it's also really good because I don't 
give a lot of sequels 5 out of 5 unless it's the whole series is a 5 out of 5. So that says something. I only had one five star read in February and I'm not going to go too much into detail about it because I will be covering this entire series in a vlog dedicated to the series. That is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas. I am slowly making my way through Throne of Glass, reading the whole series, vlogging it all. This was definitely five out of five stars and so far it is the only five out of five stars for me, but I'm still going. We're trucking on through. It's great. Now, in March, I had two five-star reads. And the first one is kind of an obvious one. I think they're both kind of obvious. If you watched my wrap-up, I mean, if you've been watching my wrap-ups, then you know of all these five stars because I talk about them. But this one is particularly obvious because it is Babel by R.F. Kuang. I cried so many times during this. And I've talked about it quite a bit, so I'll keep this brief, but it it fantasizes and romanticizes my dream while also tackling very serious issues in a historical setting. Like, if I could be a student at Babel, my mind would be blown and then I could just die and be happy. You know, that, that that's it, that's it. Okay, so this was definitely five out of five stars. And the other best book I read in March was Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. Again, this, so this was just a beautifully written book. Like I had had high expectations going into it because there was a lot of hype surrounding it of people being excited to read it when it came out. So when it came out, I was like, oh my word, the cover is gorgeous. I just, I have to get on this train because I know if I don't, I'm going to regret it because I'll read it eventually and then I'll be like why didn't I read this earlier and I loved it of course I loved the characters the slow burn romance the setting the oh my word just everything about this book was spectacular and could not have been done better now because we are still in April I can't really like officially end it here so April is still going on so I'm not gonna have like I'm not going to know if I read another five star book in April or not. Hopefully I will, but I'm not super sure about it. We'll just, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe I will. But I will say that I did have a reread in April and I rated it five stars the first time and I'm rating it five stars again. I'm not changing the rating, so I'm just going to do a quick honorary mention. The Bramets Book Club by Alyssa K. Adams. Yes, I reread this. I do not reread books. Like, almost never do I reread books. But this one I really had to because I'm getting in such a baseball mood for some reason this spring season. So I was like, I have to read this one. I love the romance. I love the characters. Our main man in this one is a baseball player. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Reread it. Loved it just as much as the first time around, if not more. I don't know if I'm going to reread other books in the series, but I will honestly probably end up rereading this again. Like, it just hits so close to home for me. So, there was also that one. So, yeah, those are the eight five-star reads so far this year. I am approaching 50 books read this year. I'm, like, 46, 47 books through this year. So, having eight out of, like not quite 50. This is all right. I mean, of course I would love it to be higher, but I think I've just had a lot of four and three stars, of course, but I've been having some two stars too. So let me know if you're interested in the worst books I've read so far this year, or if in the next quarter you want me to make another video of all the five stars, comment down below and let me know. And while you're down there, feel free to subscribe. I post videos twice a week, hopefully on Sundays and Wednesdays. Otherwise, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I also have bookish social media links down below that you can follow me as I am reading books and getting my thoughts and opinions on them. And I post a bunch of other fun content and whatnot. So thank you all very much for watching again. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.